It's a real nightmare. <laughs> So we're here today for the TriStar in Blainville. If you look on my back, the street over there, they call it uh, Singery Street. Okay. Look on the other side, you can see that grocery, the IGA, a little bit from far, but just across. So now you need to follow me because the TriStar Blainville, it's in the back. So you need to walk, okay? So if I show you, you follow here. Either if you come by walk or you come with the, the car and then you see car everywhere. So that's the TriStar Blainville. Always back the entrance. You see on the back, you see all those uh, garage door. And you see those star, the, those. That's the main entrance door. So I'll show you what's up inside. All right, let's go with the flow. What's up, boys? So I'm here with Alex, the Dominican nightmare. And today, let's see if I can make him my nightmare. Well, let's see that. It's hard, though. It's hard. <laughs> I just let you know. I'll be realistic with you. It's a little bit uh, complicated. Complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, everybody have a chance to do anything in life. Yeah. Let's <laughs> do this, Dan. Yeah. So Alex, yeah. you seem to have a really, really nice path in, in that MMA world. You come from far, from, like from a, a small city yeah. that uh, I want you to explain to everybody. I think a lot of young guy could relate it to you because they want to start MMA. You started from far and you finish it in the UFC and you even fought in Russia. You fought almost everywhere in the world with big, big, big guy. Can you, can you explain us your journey of MMA? Uh, well, I came, I came from the jungle. I remember when I was a kid, there was not many house around me. It was just jungle. And I was able to move from the jungle to the small city, from the big small city to the biggest city. And I ended up here in Montreal, one of the biggest cities in the world. My goal was to get one step, always to get somewhere. I always put, I always put one goal in my head to get somewhere. And then from there, I moved, I moved the ladder to the next step. And even now, I'm still move, climbing the ladder in, in every different game that I can. So it seems like you've always been uh, that martial art mentality, even probably without knowing. That's why you perform really good. Because we know in, uh, in martial art to become really good, it's not doing only the training camp of two months. It's to train every day of the year. So you're yeah. always good. So when you start a training camp, then it's just to get ready for your fight. Yeah, and to get also get closer to my goals. 
always uh, being, you know, training come as part of the of the drive of the drive to get where you want to be. So you gotta train hard, work hard, and slowly, slowly, you still get one step closer to the dream that you trace chasing every time. Of course, and if I, I remember good, and you're the one who's gonna explain us. Um, you didn't fight all the time in the same way category. Eh? I think in the Dominican, you were a little bit bigger, and then yeah. you came here, you changed your, your, your weight. Yeah, when I started fighting first ever, I started fighting a middle, middle weight class, uh, 185 at the time. And then slowly, slowly, I moved here. And then I ended up being too small with a 185 class. So me and my coaches, Ferraz, uh, we had a talk and we decided for, for me to go, to go farther in my career, I had to drop down to 170. Yeah, because your weight was, was more small, more little, but your strength probably s still the same. Because even in Dominican, you were a, a middleweight champion over there, right? Yes, I was uh, the first nas middleweight national champion in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, really and impressive. And I was also the first who made it to the UFC. There from you the, go. Coming from the jungle. I mean, from the jungle. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. were you were you like Khabib, who he was training with the bear? Were you training with some animal over there in the jungle? No, I was training with a sack of cacao. I used to pick up a lot of cacao, put it on my shoulder, bring it to, their, to my grandfather all the time. So I need, we have bear, we have a lot of cacao to, <laughs> to work for. <laughs> go search that on yeah, Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of cacao for sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In a minute and a minute. That was close. That was a close it one. Was. That was a close one. I can breathe for a minute. Survive. 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 So, uh, Tell me, Alex, do you have, uh, from here, I know you didn't fight for a couple of years, you have uh, a little kid, uh, maybe that's the reason, maybe not, I don't know. Do you have any plan of maybe doing, coming back, doing some uh, jiu-jitsu tournament, maybe some fight, or right now you're, you're doing something else? Uh, yes, I have some plans to come back and do some couple of jiu-jitsu tournaments. I love jiu-jitsu. Uh, come back also, maybe do one, two more fights. And I also have a son. Since my son was born, I decided to not compete for the first three, three, four years because I wanted to be there those years with my son. It was very important to me. So now my son is three and a half, almost four. So now I started getting into more of the training situation, seeing more things. But also I have a company of construction, so I had to also dedicate a lot of time to my clients and my new, my new career. Yeah, of course. You, you yeah. seems to be a guy who always never stop. You always do something. Like you said, you you put always a goal in front of the other. So now you have uh, plenty of different goal. Did it was the martial art who brought you that discipline, or you always been disciplined like that? The martial art is a big part of it. Uh, I think my grandfather was part of that also. My grandfather was a very disciplined uh, man, so he taught me a lot of things, my mom as well. And, but martial art is definitely has a big impact on me being very disciplined. <laughs> Mm. 
10 seconds. So can you explain us, so if people are curious about it, me, I am. So uh, what was a week for you when you were training full-time for MMA? Well, literally, my week of full-time training was about between 28 to 34 hours per week. I was working, I was working out two, three times a day, two, three hours at a, at a time. So it was very intense to eat, train, sleep, eat, train, sleep, eat, train, sleep. That was my whole training camp. Uh, okay. What was your Monday? What kind of training? Were, were, were you devised like doing some wrestling? Yeah. And Mondays, I used to start at Fresh Start with all the pros and then my class that we have at Fresh Start with Fresh. We start, I used to start at 12, then change around 2.33. Go take a nap or rest a little bit. Come back again at night, and do some condition with John Chamber, APC. Then from there, I finish around uh, around seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night. Go rest. The next day, sometime in the morning, I used to go for a night on Tuesday. Go for a little jog in the morning to start my day. Then around noon, I used to have sparring or jujitsu or wrestling. And Tuesday, uh, Tuesday at night, I used to go to the, the racing club. So right there, each session is about an hour to two, three hours per session. I always used to go train with the best on their own disciplines. My goal was try to be then on their own disciplines. So that way I can see, I can uh, handle myself with anyone in the world. So that was always challenge myself, always go with the best on their own disciplines. So that way I can learn from there. Yeah, smart move, smart yeah. move. That's how you, you became a UFC fighter. Yeah. So uh, was you uh, the, the nightmare of the Dominican nightmare? Yes, I was, because uh, it was hard for him on the top. <laughs> was searching everything, how to move. So it was hard, it was like a nightmare for him. <laughs> You feel that, Garcia? Yeah. I so? feel what? Yeah, yeah, I feel the weakness. Yeah. Okay. I feel him so weak. Okay. I feel him so strong. Oi! Oh! See? See? I'm in nightmare. Oh, don't slip, Thierry. Don't slip. Don't slip. Don't slip. Don't slip. Oh my God. Oh my God. Make him pay. Make him pay. Make him pay. <laughs> He's a no gel, go for the leg. It's okay, go for it. <laughs> you know everybody died going for it? I think you got me one more. All right, Alex. Tell us uh, what would be your best jujitsu move that you like to do, submission? Submission, I'm triangle and real naked job. No, yeah, real naked job. Like to choke people. Yeah, yeah. it's good. <laughs> Uh, what would be the worst move that you don't like to get cut in? I would say uh, uncle, uh, uncle Lock. Uncle Lock, I don't like to get cut in Uncle Lock. I try to defend those. And you weren't like sure because you don't get cut in stuff, huh? Yeah. I, <laughs> I use my strength to escape. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, and um, <laughs> what would be your best exercise outside of martial art to keep yourself being fit in martial art? Circle training, that's what I like to do the most. Or biking, swimming too. I do anything in sport. I can do. But so, uh, something like I like in winter, snowboarding. Snowboard, I like that, so it's give me a chip too. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, it's to free your mind. Then. Yeah, okay. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, See, he's thinking about yeah. doing so it's like oh, a nightmare for you. I'm going to do a hard work for it. And then I'm going to go. Okay. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You see? I'm a Polondo. Explain to us what you're doing, Garcia. Explain, explain to us, please. 
Ja, han tog meget. Okay. Ud af armchok. Okay, armchok. Okay. Ud med rotteren. Okay. Det vil finde os to hånd, du. Det skal have happen. Thank you. In life, you gotta be patient. The good thing comes to those, to those who are patient, always. See, I'm patient. <laughs> what is uh, your best meal that you like to eat? Bon filet mignon. It's nice, a nice piece of meat. Red. Yeah. Seems to be, it seems to be all those pro MMA fighters. Yeah. They all I, like like red meat and. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like perfect. sushi too. But sushi. I like uh, okay. I like a good filet mignon, but I like sushi. Too. And uh, what would be your uh, best um, pre-workout meal? I don't take any pre-workout meal at all. I most of the time my first training, I do it without having any food. Okay. <laughs> and then, okay, after training, what would be your post-training meal? My post-training meal may be, you know, a nice salad with chicken. That can be also uh, nice fries too sometimes. Okay. Where would be the best gym that you like to train? TriStar. The headquarter TriStar? Yeah. Good, in Montreal. I'm here. <laughs> 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 Make them believe they get the escape, but they don't escape because still under me. <laughs> uh, what about ground and pound? Oh, I can do that. Oh, no. <laughs> no problem. Ground and pound. It's just because you have a cup, <laughs> or else I'm good. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> So patient. You have to be patient. <laughs> And then, yeah. Good job, boys. Thank you. Oh, man. That guy's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> What would be your favorite place that you like to travel in the world? Australia. Australia is a very nice place. I like Australia. Yeah, it's a lot of different animal, a lot of different weird stuff. You have the ocean, you can, there's a lot of shark, you can surf. People are nice and the weather is perfect. Mm. So did, you, did you say in the ocean you have a lot of shark? shark? A lot of shark, yeah. So you like to go swim with the shark? Well, I like to see the the danger. Damn, the that danger. guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's why we doesn't have no chance yeah. on the map with that guy. <laughs> He <laughs> likes to go swim with the shark. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I think in Australia you have like white sharks over there, right? Yeah. You have all kinds. <laughs> all kinds. <laughs> okay. Give me sharks. Give yeah. me sharks. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> See the difference, you know. Get It's a perfect. hard beep fast. So. <laughs> 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 Sharks don't scare me, so you think you scare me on the mat? Hell no. Okay, I, I love that. Definitely answer. think I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So yeah. today, let me tell you the secret. The secret is work ethic is the key to success. Boom. That's right. <laughs>